by a black leopard behind a Davy home. He had just paid to have contact with the animal. Rather, the victim in this attack spent a week in the emergency room. He says when he had signed up for this one-on-one -on -one experience with a leopard, an attack was not part of that plan. Photos show a victim's bandaged head and ear after he was mauled by a black leopard. Detectives with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission say this bloody attack happened in an enclosure behind this Davy home on Ernest Boulevard, August 31st. The man who lives here, Michael Poggi, has a Facebook page saying he runs a sanctuary for rare and endangered animals. This video shows Poggi petting a black leopard on a kitchen counter. Good girl. Another video shows him inside the leopard enclosure playing with what he explained is a female hey. leopard. Investigators say Paji charged 50-year-old Dwight Turner seen here $150 for a, quote, full contact experience with his black leopard to, quote, play with it, rub its belly, and take pictures. FWC's report says once the man walked inside the enclosure, the leopard attacked. The injury so severe, the report says the man's scalp was, quote, hanging from his head and his right ear was torn in half. Hello, Yo, YouTube, you too. What's going on? Trey back again and hit you all with another video. Hope you all are having a great day. Hope you all are having a great week so far. My week is going very good. My day is going great. Excellent. Anyway, you all, we have a story come out of Florida. Florida, I'm sorry that it had to be you all, but around this time of the year, you all always stood up, you know what I'm saying? And I know an animal is not a human. Of course, I know that, even though some people think that these animals are human. Now, this is what I want to say also. Whatever happened to common sense, whatever happened to people really thinking with their damn mind, if you think rational or whatnot. But at the same time, you got to ask your damn self, you know, what business do anybody have walking into a cage with a damn leopard, a wild animal? Because you got to understand, the thing is wild. It's wild for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? It's not like it's a damn vicious pit bull. I mean, a pit bull will kill you. A rock wilder will kill you. A chihuahua will kill you. Well, someone will. Anyway, so... You got to know what you're getting yourselves into. Now, we have a story, yes, you all, coming out of Florida by way of Davey. Anyway, so we have a guy who goes by the name of Dwight Turner. And I guess Mr. Dwight Turner had dreams and aspirations of meeting a leopard one day and rubbing his belly and patting his back and taking the pictures with it. So that's what him and the guy, Michael Poggi, who happened to own an animal sanctuary and David in the backyard of his home, however that goes or whatnot. And I know you all seen that cage that leopard was in. And if I was that damn leopard, I'd be mad as hell too. Imagine you being locked up in there and stuff in that hot Florida heat all damn day long, human and everything. But anyway, Dwight Turner and Michael Podge agreed for Dwight to basically come to the house, see the leopard and play with the leopard and rub his belly and everything, all for $150. And this was going to be a full contact experience. And the full contact experience is what Mr. Turner got. And I hope that he has a speedy recovery, but at the same time, you cannot be mad at the damn leopard. The leopard was just being a damn leopard. You know, it's a war going on as well. Yes, it's a war going on. I ain't talking about overseas. I'm talking about all over the world of real versus fake. You know, it's basically like they want to make everything that's supposed to be real fake. What do a leopard supposed to do but be a damn leopard? That's just like a baby. A baby's going to do what? Cry and boo-boo all over itself. So, if you want a baby to stop doing that, you asking for a damn adult. And even you have adults who still boo-boo and crap all over them damn self. You know what I'm saying? That's what they call the pins. You buy them in Walmart or Kmart or whatever. So, you know, basically you want something to be something that is not. So, I'm not mad at the damn leopard. And also, Michael Podge, uh, when I come to Florida and everything, do my little meet and greet or whatnot, and see a few friends and loved ones, I want to buy a couple of those damn monkeys. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do like Michael Jackson did. I'm not going to name the monkey Bubbles, but I have a very good name for the monkey Ribbles. That's going to be the monkey name Ribbles or Mr. Bigglesworth, whichever one comes first. But anyway, so Dwight Turner goes to Michael Podge's house. And as soon as he walked his ass in that damn cage, the leopard started growling and everything and started tensing up. And that should have been your sign right there to haul ass out of. But the leopard probably would have still jumped on your back in a damn way and said, hell with Michael. Michael probably would have just let the thing eat you up. But that was a sign right there. And I always tell you all about signs. You have to pay attention to the damn signs. They couldn't have been me because soon, number one, I wouldn't even get my ass in there. But as soon as that leopard would look at me funny, like, I would haul ass about it. I'm not trying to pit a damn thing. So soon as Dwight Turner sat down in the cage and whatnot, I don't know if the cage was locked. I don't know if the cage door was shut or whatever. But as soon as Dwight Turner sat down, the leopard proceeded to get all on his ass. Basically, tore his scalp off and also tore his ear in half, whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I'm knowing that he having a damn headache right now and hard of hearing. But at the same time, you cannot be mad at the damn leopard. The leopard is just being a damn leopard. Anyway, I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story so we can dive a little deep and see what's really going on. And I'm going to get my opinion, all of it, surely, 
as we go. A Florida man was mauled by a leopard after paying $150 for a full contact experience. Now, you know what's even worse is the fact that you paid money to get fucked up. But at the same time, it's just like me going to pay somebody $150 to whoop my ass. I mean, shit, I could have did that my damn self. You know what I'm saying? Or gave some crackhead on the streets $150 just to hit me upside the head with a pop bottle. Anyway, a man in Florida was mauled after paying $150 for a full contact experience with a black leopard. And they had to put black in there. Like, why couldn't you be a damn leopard? You know what I'm saying? You're trying to criminalize everything black. What if the leopard was yellow or white? You know what I'm saying? They got white leopards, snow leopards and shit. Anyway, Dwight Turner, who happened to be 50 years old, has undergone two surgeries since being attacked by the animal on August the 31st. His wife, Natushka, uh, Natushka, I never heard Natushka spelled that way. Look at the bottom. Natushka. Is that Natushka or Natushka? I don't know. Anyway, Turner said in a sworn witness statement to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, what they call it, Dwight Turner and the leopard's owner, Michael Podge, who had to be 54 but look every bit, a thirsty for money, Botox in the face, will let the animal attack you, 64 in the face, arrange for him to play with it, rub his belly, and take pictures with the damn leopard on Podge's property in Davie. The FWC said in a captive wildlife report, I guess every time these animals attack somebody, the FWC got to do some kind of report. I'm not sure. You all can let me know. My people who work for the, the uh, Florida Game and Fish and Wildlife, you all can let me know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I just want to buy a monkey or two. Anyway, now after Pajio locked the leopard's cage, Dwight Turner entered and sat on a bench inside when the leopard growled and attacked Mr. Turner, biting him on the head and ear, said the FWC report. That's where you messed up right there. You should have asked the leopard. You should have asked the leopard, Mr. Turner. I'm not trying to add insult to injury. You should have asked the leopard, can I sit down on this bench beside you? You know what I'm saying? The leopard probably would still look at you like you was crazy. Probably got on your ass. But at least you could have just asked the uh, leopard. You know what I'm saying? You can't come in nobody's house and just take the hell over. Anyway, now Mr. Turner sustained injuries to the right side of his head and right ear. Mrs. Turner stated that she had to place part of Mr. Turner's scalp back. God, dog. Oh in place because it was hanging from his head and his right ear was torn in half, the FWC said. Now imagine, imagine women, imagine fellas, if you have to place your wife or your husband's scalp back on their damn head. I don't know if I could do that. I've been a pastor. I've been a crapped all on my damn self. The leopard probably would have just tore off both our ass up because I'd be crying like a little baby. I don't think I could do it. So Padre was here with two misdemeanor citations. They're trying to basically give him a damn felony. Hope they don't damn put the leopard to sleep. Why they always do that? I don't understand that. That's just like when a lion escape out of the zoo or an elephant trample over five or ten people or a lion maul five or ten people to kill them. They want to kill the damn elephant or the damn lion. How about you leave those damn animals alone? Leave those animals in Africa, wherever the hell they come from. They ain't bothering you. That's all I'm trying to say. But anyway, so they issue Paji. Yes. Two misdemeanor citations. And also for not maintaining a captive wildlife in an unsafe condition causing extreme damage. According to the FWC, basically trying to take this damn animal thing. Anyway, now the news station has made several attempts to reach Padre without success. Padre ain't trying to talk to no damn body. He done deleted his whole Facebook page and everything. How the hell am I supposed to get them damn monkeys now? Anyway, it is unclear whether he has a lawyer. He has a lawyer. That big ass house, he got a lawyer. Anyway, now his Zoom hearing is scheduled for December the 2nd, according to Broward County court documents. Padre admitted to the FWC investigators that he knew what he did was illegal and answered questions but would not provide a written statement, the FWC report said. So why would he provide, why would he have to provide a written statement if he already uh, talked to you all? I don't understand that part right there. Part like, look, I already spilled the beans. I already told you all the damn truth. What you want me to do, write it down? Hell no. Anyway, now on his personal Facebook page, Podge said he's an exotic animal breeder of rare or endangered species and has rescued thousands of exotic animals over the past 35 years. And guess what? I'm sure not a damn animal attacked him. So maybe, you know, Dwight Turner had the wrong cologne on that day. Or maybe the leopard was mad that Dwight Turner didn't ask him to sit down at his house. You know what I'm saying? That's that leopard house, whether you like it or not. You know, the leopard didn't agree to none of this. But anyway, I want to know what you all think. Now, a Facebook page called Podge's Animal House claiming to be for an animal sanctuary has since been deactivated. How in the hell do I supposed to get that damn monkey now? I don't even understand. So maybe I'm just going to have to just pull up. And Paji, if you see this video, please don't let that leopard loose. Because trust me, trust me, I'm not going to shoot it. But one thing about it, I'm going to try my best to run it over, make a jacket out of it. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this. But at the same time, I want to say this before I go. Stop being mad 
That's something for being his normal self. You know what I'm saying? We praise people and everything else for being what they're not, if you know what I mean. So the moment an animal acts like an animal and do what animals do, attack, we want to sit up here and uh, make viral stories about it, basically demonizing and criminalizing the damn leopard when the leopard was doing what it was supposed to do. Attack your ass. If you come in a damn enclosure and you see any animal, it could be a damn pit bull. It could be a chihuahua. If you see the animal growling and everything tensed up, guess what? You better get the hell out of the way. And if you can't get the hell out of the way, just take whatever comes. But anyway, to Michael Turner, I wish you the best, uh, your know, speedy recovery and all that. But at the same time, let this be a lesson. Let this be a lesson. And I'm sure you learned your lesson. You know, because you were too old to be trying to experiment and play with animals any damn way. Let this be a lesson. You know, leave well alone. Forget those damn wild animals. Look at them through a cage or a glass or a TV. But when it comes down to up close and personal with them, you don't want that kind of smoke. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member. And also, and also share this video with your family and friends. And also, remember this. Leave well alone. Those animals are not bothering you, so don't bother it. You know, because an animal is going to be an animal at the end of the day, just like a human is going to be a human at the end of the day. Anyway, you all take care. Have a blessed day, and I'm out.